and the if you set the heater thing for the just on the remote for heater, it'll just draw from there. If you set it on just sort of the default, it'll draw from both. Is that? Um, yeah. It, you set your solar up separately, and then um, so it's going to work throughout the day. Yeah. Now they have a, a and each control system labels it a little bit differently, mm -hmm. but um, I'm going to say solar preferred. Yeah, that they, they had uh, solar, solar preferred, mm -hmm. um, and then heater or heat something. only or yeah. something. Like heat only or something. Um, if you get solar preferred, then the solar will do as best as it can, yeah. okay. and when it can't do any more, the heater takes over yeah. and okay. your money goes up. There. Yeah. <laughs> so people don't like to put that on because unless they they can afford to yeah. run the heater all the time, yeah. they. Yeah. Uh, so we did, did we did or we didn't It's on it? nothing right now. It's just it's, not, set up. it's, oh, not, it's, not, set it's up. not doing any heat right now. Okay, so um, <clears throat> that valve there controls the solar on off for the solar. And the, there's a temperature sensor on the roof and the water temperature sensor which is typically Yeah, you showed me a thermocouple right, sensor. Yeah, it's there. Um, it compares the two temperatures and when it thinks that the solar is at least three degrees hotter than the water typically is what it's set that's at, when it all it'll come on and so is this this is now that's on this is off actually. that's off okay so that's so the, you can see the off yeah I just wasn't just some kind of so the water is coming out through here and it can either go straight through the valve yeah. or it can go the other way in the in the on position for the solar this this is going to be right here yeah this okay is going to like that so um, we we're going to clean the filter and then we can turn the solar okay set up on so um we the chlorinator um, yeah that. the chlorine this morning was good i don't know Mm -hmm. And I didn't add any, so you I didn't assume, add any. Okay. I assume the chlorinator kicked in or something, it, or it's, well, it takes a while to dissolve the yeah, tablets, yeah. so and get it on a regular, yeah. you know, and then also balancing it with what we're adding and what yeah. we're not adding, yeah. and so. Yeah. Um, but you do need to get some of these tablets. Yeah. What do you know? What size they are? They're are they three, three inch? inch. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was just looking yesterday. Okay. I no, I couldn't yeah, remember whether these were three. And inch. I think they only make one inch and three inch. They made the only ones I saw were one inch, and I knew those were too small. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, I don't know. Right. That's for yeah. spas. And yeah. Such. yeah. So um, tricor tablets is typically yeah. what you'll use. Okay. There. And then um, so probably in another week or so you'll have that water balance and you could put that nature two cartridge in here if it's not in already um, and then uh, what else that goes in your sh unit yeah here. okay you me that. Yeah, right so you want to make sure that the system's turned off before you open either mm -hmm. one of these um, before you open it this you don't want to try to tighten these when what the pumps on. What are those? Pressure. Are just those are just the cuff screws for the cover of the filter, or? Yeah, yeah these are clamps. Yeah. They go okay. over the two halves of the filter. Yeah. So you, we're going to back these off, and then the cover will come off and okay. expose the filter. So we'll do that next. Um, that's that the main filter pump, and these are the jammy valves that control between pool and spa, draining and filling. When um. When you have it set on the pool mm -hmm. function, I assume that's just like the default filter pump for the mm -hmm. pool. Mm -hmm. Is it also running the spa one at the same time, or does it see where that valve is? Yeah. Not 180. Yeah. It allows a portion of the water, so the water is coming in the center of the valve. Mm -hmm. It's um, allowing a portion of the water to come through here, and a portion of the water to okay. come through here. So um, if this was straight up and down this way. Then you get equal amounts through each one. Mm -hmm. um, it's s slightly blocking off the spa side because there's much less. <coughs> yeah, you just want to add a little bit of yeah. fresh water. Yeah. Um, the other one you want to keep the water circulating around the pool, yeah. so you want a little more water going through that. And so, it it adds fresh water and then gets pulled out through the drains. Yeah, actually in the spa, it doesn't 
do any suction yeah, okay. in the pool's mode, yeah. only the, the right. main pool. So, so it'll just bubble over, basically, if it's Yeah, just fold yeah. over okay. into the... So. Um, if you want to go ahead and clean the filter now, we can do that. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'll put this in the service mode. So I was want to... Make sure, you Make sure everything first. turns off. Too. And even when the, if you do it at the time when the thing's off, yeah. it's probably not a bad idea in case it was like five minutes away from starting yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little surprise. Uh -huh. With the sprinkler, that's not so bad. But okay, so what we'll need um, is unless this is loose. Okay. Uh, usually, you're going to need a wrench, a pair of pliers, a screwdriver. Something you can either put in between here to unscrew this. Um, it has an O-ring here. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't lose the O-ring. And um, kind of rinse this off because it'll get some sand and yeah. that kind of stuff on the thread. So you can lubricate this O-ring with uh, silicone lubricant. Uh, I wouldn't use silicone sealer. Um, and you can just kind of run that in there. Uh, you want to break loose the cover on the pump. And that way it won't keep siphoning water. When you take this cover off, this O-ring will typically stick to it. So you want to put that back. Keep the little seeds and stuff that get in this yeah. groove. Keep that out. And then you, and then you can put the O-ring back on there. And that way it stays seeded. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you leave it on here, it gets a little out of yep. line and yep. pinches it. This comes out. A little bit of debris in there. This hole here has a little saddle that it lines up in right there. Yep. So it, if uh, 